Today, I'm gonna go over 102 obscure Pokemon facts. And also, this video is sponsored by Opera. We'll get into that in a bit. Let's do this. All right, let's start with the Game Boy Camera. Pokemon Red and Blue was not the first appearance of Pokemon outside of Japan. It was actually in the Game Boy Camera game, as you can see here. And this frame of Pikachu and Clefairy might be evidence that Pokemon Yellow was supposed to be released with Pokemon Pink. But who knows? Jolteon can apparently drive, which is seen in Let's Find Pokemon book. And I actually own this book, it's awesome. Oh, and apparently my champ can read books too. The more you know. It was revealed in the Pokemon anime that all Binette are born from substitute dolls. So if you own one of these plushes and then you threw it away, I'd watch out. Ash canonically has an aunt named Hillary, and she appears in the Sneak Peek Pokemon VHS tape, which means that she's Delilah's sister or Ash's dad's sister. Oh, and it also turns out that Hillary has two sons named Trey and Troy, which would be Ash's cousins. And apparently Ash's science teacher is named Mr. Carlson. Originally, Zatu was planned to be a two-stage Pokemon, with Natu evolving into the Scrap Bird. And apparently the Scrap Bird was based on the e Eevee Bird, so his name was probably going to be like, Watu or something. Up until literally the latest expansion, Obsidian Flame, there was only one Bonsley card. And of course, it featured art of Bonsley's butthole. Of course it did. Onyx has a Pokedex entry that states that it has a magnet in his brain, so that it doesn't lose direction when tunneling. Which might explain this infamous Watermelon Onyx card. It looks like he has a watermelon on his head. Mega Evolution, Gigantamaxing, and Terrestrializing all have one thing in common, and that is that they each start with the name of a bite size, with Mega, Giga, and Terra. So it wouldn't surprise me if the next niece starts with Peta, which is the bite size above Terra. Maybe it'll be called Peta Burst or something. Or what about Petrite Transformation? That's gonna be it. There is actually a distinction between rock and ground type Pokemon. For ground, you have earth Pokemon, mud Pokemon, sand Pokemon, and even clay Pokemon. And for rock, you have stone Pokemon, glass Pokemon, fossil Pokemon, mineral Pokemon, and gym Pokemon. This would have been really handy to know back in the day. If the player gets first place in every Pokeathlon event, they will get a golden statue of them and their Pokemon in the Pokeathlon Dome, which looks dope. And before we continue, this video is sponsored by, oh, j just a browser? That's the sponsor? Um, Mini Dobbs here. It's not just a browser. It's a hardcore gamer hacker browser named Opera GX. You would never understand because you're a Google Chrome normie. Oh, I'm a normie? Okay, then what's better about Oprah Winfrey GX? It's Opera GX, and first of all, every browser including stupid Chrome hogs all your computer resources. Kind of like a fisherman with six Magikarp. But with Opera GX, there is GX Control, where you can limit the amount of GPU or RAM the browser is using. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool, but what else? Oh, that's pretty cool? Well, what about this? Opera has GX mods. Do you remember playing Skyrim and putting a bunch of mods on that game and playing against flying Thomas the Trains that are dragons and fighting with a lightsaber? Well, imagine that, but with your browser. Like, check out this mod right here, GX Boy. It has background music, keyboard sounds, opening and closing tab sounds, themes for your browser, a dedicated wallpaper for your mods, and a modded control center for your sidebar. And that's just one mod from the mini from the GX store that you should definitely check out. Okay, that's awesome. And it looks like they have a feature called the GX Corner, where they show off free games, the best deals, and even breaking gaming news. Kind of like the old Nintendo Power magazines from back in the day. Exactly. And it's so easy to swap browsers too. All you gotta do is go to the browser settings, synchronization, import bookmark and settings, and boom, you're done. And it only took five seconds. All right, you got me. This browser is awesome. And all of y'all should download it today. Use the link down below in the description. It's free after all. So yeah, with that said, let's get back into the video. Originally, Pocket Monsters was planned to be released in every color of the rainbow, but eventually the idea was scrapped and Gayfrey decided to just use red and green, which was surprisingly inspired by Mario and Luigi. Honestly, when you think about it, we almost have every Pokemon game for every color. All we really need is Pokemon Orange, since we have Pokemon Red, Yellow, Green, Blue, and Violet, unless you want to count Indigo too. For some odd reason, Slowking was given a signature move in Scarlet and Violet. It was given the chilly reception move, where the user tells a bad joke and then switches places with a Pokemon from their party while summoning a snowstorm, which honestly would have been perfect for my just a bear fake I made in this video. The theme for Route 24 in the Kanto region is based on the Sky theme from Mario and Wario. Just listen. Man, I had no idea. That's awesome. Arceus has a unique ability in Pokemon Conquest called Omnipotence. I can't really say the word. Where all of his stats are doubled, but all of his moves become typeless. And you know what's funny about this ability is that Shadinja with Wonder Guard completely walls this. So I guess Shadinja is the true god of Pokemon. The reason why it's called the Ruins of Alf is because it's the Ruins of Alphabet, where, as you know, unknown come from, the letter Pokemon. Also, if you didn't notice, there are 26 statues in the Ruins of Alf, representing all 26 letters. Legends Arceus straight up confirmed that Gyarados can literally fly. Like, okay. 
Just like how Kyogre, or as I like to say, Kyogre glows red, Groudon glows blue. You see it? You can see it a lot better in this cutscene. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire had a $500,000 Pokemon question, and the question was, which of the following characters is not considered a Pokemon? Jigglypuff, Frodo, Squirtle, or Pikachu? And believe it or not, the contestant used a lifeline and then walked away because he didn't know the answer. Rest in peace half a million dollars. In some of the old Pokemon games, Kangaskhan can be seen holding his baby on his shoulder, which looks really cute. Too cute. Judge, I declare this as too cute. I told ya. In the first ever Pokemon Trainer's Guide, there's an unknown Pokemon that appears on the cover, and since then has never appeared anywhere else ever again. Talk about clickbait. It kinda looks like a fusion between Charizard and Aerodactyl, which honestly looks pretty cool. As of right now, these are all the untouched Generation 1 Pokemon, who haven't gotten a new evolution, regional form, or even a Gigantamax form. And I get to Spiky Gear because Pichu got a variant of that for some reason. And you can actually consolidate this even further by removing Ditto, Golduck, and Victory Bell for the scrapped evolutions in Generation 2. And I guess Nidoqueen and Dugong since they got cloned in the first Pokemon movie. Look at that baby Nidoqueen. If you talk to the Safari Warden before returning his teeth, he will say, which probably translates to, I lost my teeth at the Safari Zone, help me please. And funny enough, you can actually respond to him by saying yes or no. So basically your protagonist is like, yes. There's a Team Rocket admin with a Wobbuffet named Wobbuffap in Pokemon Stadium 2. And when you defeat him, he says, all rubbed out. They know what they were doing. The adult version of Molly from the second Pokemon movie has unknown earrings, which looks pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. I'd wear them. I'll wear them right now. The French versions of Pokemon have different movies playing on their TVs. In Pokemon Red, the TV will say, an animated cartoon, a little boy with a monkey tail, which is a reference to Dragon Ball. In Fire Red, the TV will say, there's a cool guy in a taxi, which is a reference to the movie Taxi. In Leaf Green, the TV will say, it's the Lord of the Rings, which is pretty straightforward. If the player picks Chase and lets go, the TV will say, a brown haired boy brandishes a magic wand, which is a reference to Harry Potter. And finally, if the player picks Elaine and lets go, the TV will say, a young woman fights with a blue saber, which is a reference to Rey in Star Wars. The barista in the Alola region basically admits that his grandson died battling a Roserade, so that he could gather leaves for the tea that he gives you, which is kinda nuts. Shiny Lurvesta looks like a baby Arceus. You see it? It's a little baby Jesus. There are actually shiny variants for the F-00 and F-002 opponents in Pokestar Studios, although they are not encounterable and only in the game's internal data. This is how Spiritomb walks, which looks absolutely hilarious. He's doing his best. Pokemon Stadium actually has the Gen 1 miss, which is basically a glitch in the game where a move can miss at any time. But instead of being 1 in 256, the odds are 1 in 65,000, since the glitch was technically fixed, but not in the occurrence of it happening twice in a row. In the original Sinnoh games, there's a painting in the Heart Dome City's forum building that looks very similar to the cover art for Legends Arceus. And here's them side by side. That's pretty cool. How Noom doesn't have ears. Yeah, I just blew your mind, didn't I? Didn't think you learned that when you woke up today, did ya? An extremely rare Lily card just sold for over $100,000. Yeah, that's right, this card from 2019 sold for 100 k And the reason why it's so rare is because you had to win a lottery and then win a tournament, and then get lucky enough to pull the card from a mystery pack that had a 1 in 3 odds of having this card. So I guess it's kinda rare, but $100,000 rare? I don't know. Jinx have their own language, and this is what it looks like. And according to their dex entries, their language seems similar to that of humans. Speaking of Jinx, say Titan has overtaken Jace for having the longest Pokemon cry, with it lasting a whopping 4.007 seconds. And here's a comparison. Jinx still has the more iconic one though. The speedrunner Worcester hit a 319,000 chance with his Zap Cannon in Pokemon Stadium 2. Because the odds of Ephros hitting Zap Cannon, getting a critical, not paralyzing, and leaving him only with exactly 1 HP is a 1 in 319,488 chance of happening. Now that's pretty rare. $100,000 rare though? I don't know. When Game Freak presented Pokemon to an American company, the staff of the company wanted to chase Pikachu into a tiger with large breasts because they thought the monsters were too cute, which is kind of absurd. Could you imagine? Could you imagine Pikachu with large breasts? Can someone draw them? The move Earthquake debuted in the anime through a Tokabi using Metronome. Not by a big ground type scary monster Pokemon, but through a Tokabi. According to this bug catcher in Viridian Forest, the Johto protagonist looks like a Venonat from behind. I don't really see it. Wait a minute, if I tilt my head a little bit... Oh, oh no! Cosmo M originally had different forms for Solgaleo and Lunala, and this is what they looked like. There's a scrapped in-game trade in Pokemon Yellow where an NPC named Bart will trade you a Mew for a Mew. So even if this was in the game, it would still be useless. Thanks, Bart. Cynthia mega evolves her Garchomp with her lipstick. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty awesome and kinda hot. 
Porygon Z is just Porygon 2, but with his body messed up, since as you can see, its head is just upside down, which is probably torture. Driftbloom and now Bronzong are the most common Pokemon to be used in Elite Four, with each of them being used by four different members. So I guess that means that these Pokemon are the most elite mons out there. There's a funny cutscene at the end of Let's Go where the text box reads, Your world has expanded after becoming champion. And then a random youngster walks by and says, Hey, sorry to bug you while your world's expanding. The names to evolve your Eevee in Pokemon Go aren't random, but actually based on real characters in the anime. With Pyro, Sparkly, and Rainer named after the Eevee brothers, Sakura and Tamau are named after the Komodo sisters, and Rei, Lene, and Kira are part of the eight renowned Eevee trainers in the Alola region. In black and white, when you hold B to run, nearby cycles will start cycling very fast, which is pretty fun to play around with. All of this power in the palm of my hand. The Gengar and Crobat lines are still the only Pokemon of their typing, which is crazy because both Pokemon are from the original games. A couple of other ones are Tyranitar and the Mamoswine line. Their types are unique to them as well. Arcanine can learn Dragon Rage. Yeah, that's it. I guess it really is a legendary Pokemon. Kahili being a flying type specialist actually makes a lot of sense, since in golf, terms like Birdie, Eagle, and Albatross are used. Pretty clever. In Black and White 2, your mom was a Pokemon Center receptionist. I wonder if that means she was related to Nurse Joy in some way. Maybe she's like her distant cousin or something. This is what Trapich looks like when disguised as a Turtwig. But the real question is, what does Turtwig look like when disguised as a Trapinch? The world may never know. I covered this in a previous video, but I'm going to say it again. Gimme Ghoul might have been foreshadowed in Pokemon Gold and Silver, since Mr. Pokemon is a pile of strange coins on his desk, and apparently they originated from a different country, which is crazy. One of the rarest Pokemon cards of all time was recently revealed this year, and the card is this number two trainer card that features an actual human on it. And it turns out that this tournament called Secret Super Battle Best Tournament that took place in 2000 gave specialized cards with the winners on the cards themselves. Talk about a flex. Savali's name isn't actually Savali. Its real name is Type Null. Savali is just a nickname that Gladion gave it, which makes this Pokemon the only Pokemon whose official name is a nickname. Kind of cool. We currently have two monkeys, two cats, two turtles, and two crocodiles for starter Pokemon, which means we might get a water type monkey, a water type cat, a fire type turtle, and a grass type crocodile to finish each starter trinity. Ponyta can jump over the Eiffel Tower, which is really random, but pretty impressive. If I could jump over the Eiffel Tower, I would brag about it too. This is the first magazine cover Ash Ketchum was featured in. And then 25 years later, this is the last magazine cover that he was featured in. Kind of funny and random that he was dressed up as Santa Claus in his first one, while Jesse over here is looking pretty fine. In the very, very early development of Pocket Monsters, the monsters didn't have types. And then after Game Freak thought of the idea, they gave Pokemon like Charmander a fire tipped tail and Venusaur a plant on his back. And then they chopped off Diglett's whole body because he was just too powerful as a ground type Pokemon with all that, all that body power. It was just too sexy. As of right now, September 14th at 10.33 p.m. On a, on a Thursday, Volcarona yields the highest points in the new Pokemon Snap, with the points being 6,851. And if you're wondering, the second highest is Exernius with 6,759 points. Pokemon Puzzle League is the only Pokemon game to not be released in Japan, making it the only American exclusive Pokemon game. I have said the word Pokemon 66 times in this video up until now, including that Pokemon I just said just now, and just now again. Scyther's Evolution Tree is a game of rock, paper, scissors, with Cleaver being rock, Scyther being paper, and Scizor being, well, scissors. This Nora is doing the Gundam style dance in his Pokemon card. It is entirely possible for Halstone to deal 262 million damage. And if you want to know how, let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll make a video about it like I did with Shuckle and, and Swampert. The answer to why Nidoqueen can't breed with Nidoqueen was actually revealed in a very old Pokemon encyclopedia from 1996, which states that once Nidorina evolves, they lose the ability to lay eggs. So there you go, one of the biggest mysteries solved over 20 years ago. Professor Elm signs off his emails with a smiley face that looks like this, as you can see in Professor Oak's PC in the Johto remakes. The Japanese word for fainting in Pokemon is Hinchi, which means near death. This is the first cadaver card printed in over 20 years, and it is featured in the 151 set. And if you're wondering, these are all the other cadaver cards that exist right now. That's my favorite. This is what Stack Attack looks like when it falls asleep. It becomes a little pile of bricks with some Z's coming out of it. While Mewtwo's in Generation 2 are programmed to always have the Berserk Gene on them, and when in battle when they use the item, they gain two boosts in the attack and then get confused for 256 turns. Unfortunately though, this will never happen because there aren't any wild Mewtwo's in the game, so this whole fact is just useless, just like Wizmer. Speaking of useless, the Dragon Fang in Generation 2 is probably the most useless item in Pokemon history, because due to an error, its effect was given to the Dragon Scale, so instead of powering up Dragon type moves, it does absolutely nothing, just like Wizmer, which inadvertently made the Dragon Scale extremely useful. Reggie Gigas in Legends Arceus lost a Soul Start ability, but then gained the Soul Start status condition, which basically does the same thing. 
Man, Gavey must really hate Reggie Gigas. But not as much as my hatred for Wismer, because it has a bu- There is a jumbo card with Zora and Celebi that have the attack Who is Who. And the attack literally has both players swap positions and resume the game with the opponent's cards. Which is actually pretty cool. Too bad it's illegal though. In Generation 2, the buy theme is just a speed up version of the Goldorak City theme. Just listen. Yo, that's mind blowing. No wonder you get the bike in Goldorak City too. Only in Pokemon Crystal, Fampy can learn Water Gun through Breedy. And that's it, and no other game can learn this move. So that means this Fampy is very special. Archops is the only Pokemon that has the same base stat total as its Pokedex number, which is 567. And it will probably remain as the only Pokemon to have this trait, unless future Pokemon start getting base stat totals in the thousands. Only in Pokemon Emerald, if the player's first Pokemon has a Lightning Rod ability, the player's phone will start ringing more often. So that's how it become more popular. This is what the move Struggle looks like in Pokemon Stadium. It kind of goes like, bleh, and then he gets recalled by it. Ash Ketchum canonically exists in the video game world, since a picture of him and Pikachu can be found in Mimikyu's room in the Alola region. And on top of that, in the beta version of Sun and Moon, he mails the player a letter about Ash Greninja. So yeah, he literally exists in the games. Sawsbuck's name is based on the first letter of every season. You have S for summer, A for autumn, W for winter, and another S for spring, which spells out the saws for Sawsbuck. This is what Lugia looks like when it's freaking the flip out. As you can see, if you look closely, it's freaking the flip out. And many theorists suggest that whenever you look at this clip of Lugia flipping the flip out, you realize that it's flipping the flip out. Let me know in the comments if you had that epiphany, because I'm having it right now. I'm realizing really hard that it's flipping the flip out. In Generation 5, 6, and 7, there's an unused item called the God Stone, which sounds pretty epic. I wonder what would happen if he gave this to an Eevee. Would it become a Super Saiyan God Eevee? Brock's last name in the anime is Harrison, so his full name is Brock Harrison. The iconic cool Porygon card was actually a promo for the Nintendo 64. It really is cool. Cool. Cool Porygon. I'm cool. Aw. The XD of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness stands for Extra Dimension, if you didn't know. Grimer and Muck weigh the same, with their weight being 66.1 pounds, which makes no sense because you clearly see that Muck is a lot bigger than Grimer. Dragonair originally had the name Dragon, with a Y. Inside the mobile Game Boy cartridge, there's a line of coding that mentions a game called Pokemon Moss. So either this was a troll or a clever easter egg for an upcoming Pokemon game. It was probably a troll though. Umbreon was originally a poison type Pokemon, but was later changed to be a dark type. And we can even see traces of his original typing in his gold Dyson tree, which states that when agitated, this Pokemon protects itself by spraying poisonous sweat from his pores. That's so awesome. I didn't even know that till just recently. That might be the thumbnail. In Pokemon Yellow, a trash can was added to Professor Oak's lab, and it is ambiguously right by the starter Pokemon. What are you trying to tell us, Professor Oak? The official art of Unknown for Pokemon Gold and Silver is the G-Unknown, and then the official art for it in Fire Red and Leaf Green is the F-Unknown, which spells out GF for Game Freak, or my non-existent girlfriend, either one. Lydian is 4 feet tall, and if you're wondering what other Pokemon are 4 feet tall, we have Nidoking, Hitmonchan, Ampharos, Sock, Sock, and even Cinderace. So yeah, I guess Lydian really is a Power Ranger. The Electric Tail of Pikachu manga was heavily censored when being imported to America, and I'll just let you see for yourself what was changed. You see it? There's even a panel that's too graphic that would probably age restrict this video, so I'll put it in my Discord channel instead for those who want to see it. It'll be pinned in the journal chat. If you obtain the gold trainer card in Pokemon Emerald, Nurse Troll will fangirl over you and actually heal your Pokemon at a quicker time. So I guess it pays to be famous sometimes. In Generation 2, Mr. Mime can be found south of Palatown, which is a reference to Ash's dad in the anime. In the Kalos games, the player can literally do a backflip on their roller skates. Like, dang, okay, I see you. The Rock type has the least amount of moves, sitting at a mere 25. That's nearly one new Rock type move a year. Jigglypuff's taunt in Super Smash Bros. is based on his fan animation from Pokemon Stadium. I can't believe I didn't notice this till just recently. If you take the first letter of each of Skyla's Pokemon on her team, Subat, Unfazon, and Swana, it spells out the word sus, which is pretty sus. I'm watching you, Skyla. I'm watching you very closely. Gimme Goal is the only Pokemon that you can start from evolving by pressing B. And finally, for the 100 second fact, we have this. The highest amount of prize money that can be received in a single battle is 345,600 Poke Dollars. And this can be achieved by defeating the Grand Duchess Diantha at the Battle Chateau, with various bonuses activated while using the move Happy Hour in the battle. Talk about making it rain. Okay, that's it. That was cool. Bye.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more fact videos, I did 100 and 101 obscure fact videos here. And also be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell. But only if you're cool.